Hi there, Mackenzie here again. And today what we're gonna be talking about in our Career Ready series is making sure that your social media message matches everything else that you're putting out there, okay? So you have this great opportunity that you see ahead of you. You have your resume and it looks perfect. You've practiced questions that could be asked of you in the interview and your networking is on point. How about your social media message? What's your social media message saying about you? Did you realize that the people that are looking at employing you are probably Googling you? They're probably looking you up on social media? Yeah. So you gotta think, one, is my privacy setting where I want it to be to make sure I'm protecting my privacy? And two, if it's not, what kind of message am I putting out there for my potential employers, okay? So let's think about this. You know, we all need an outlet, right? We need to be able to vent to somebody or somewhere or something, but we wanna make sure that who we're venting to is the right person or group of people. So some of you maybe like to vent out your frustrations about your current position on Facebook. That's fine, you're only friends with your friends. But if your privacy setting isn't right, your possible future employee just saw you roast your last boss and they're thinking, I don't wanna be the next one that she says that about. Wow, he really hates his job. I don't want him saying that stuff about our company. I want our company to be in the best light. Hmm, maybe we should go on to the next person. Those are the things that might be going through their head or they might really be having those conversations at the, at the opportunity that you're hoping to get into. And maybe you just had a really bad day on Facebook that one day and that's why you said something. That's why it's important to know what your privacy settings are, okay? Next, you wanna think about the other things that you're posting. Maybe on your Instagram, all of your pictures come from like 10 o'clock in the morning and they're of you still laying in bed with your cat, Mr. Fuzzy Whiskers. And you just write about, I just love Mr. Fuzzy Whiskers. I wish I could lay in bed all day like a cat. Cats are awesome. I wanna be a cat. I wanna sleep all day. What kind of message is that sending to your future employer? They're thinking, wow, they like to sleep. Hmm, they're always in bed at 10 o'clock in the morning. I wonder if they're going to be able to make it here by 8 o'clock in the morning. Probably not. We might want to go on to the next opportunity. Okay? Think about those things. And again, if you want to keep posting those things, that's perfectly fine. It's your life. Make sure your privacy settings are where you need them to be. One social media outlet that I highly encourage you to be extremely active on is LinkedIn. Do you have a LinkedIn profile yet? Have you looked into LinkedIn? Your possible future employee will probably look for you on LinkedIn and they'd like to see that you're there. So what I've heard, a really great quote that I heard from Career Contessa is that if your resume is a snapshot of you, your LinkedIn is the rest of the story. So that's what you need to have on your LinkedIn profile, okay? You can have a photo, you can have your education background, your work background, your volunteer opportunities that you've had, your job shadowing opportunities that you've had, you can put in your goals, your professional statement, you can put in um, some, some groups or some hobbies that you really like. I mean, if it's just like sleeping, like don't put that on your LinkedIn. But other stuff would be really great for you to put on your LinkedIn, like how you really like helping in after school programs, how you have a passion for design thinking strategies. Those would be things that you can do and you can connect with other groups of people on LinkedIn that have the same kind of ideas, thoughts, or interests. And that would be a really great place for you to network as well, okay? Um, it's free. Um, they have a, some really cool things that you can do if you buy the paid version, but even with the, the regular free version, there's a lot of really cool stuff out there. Um, you can change your background to make it something that's more fitting to you. Um, feel free to check out my site. It's not as great as I want it to be, but it's getting there. Um, LinkedIn.com slash Mac, M-A-C, Haynes, H-A-N-E-S. Um, you can check me out and that's also something to remember. You can customize the URL for your page. I would highly recommend that. Um, and then I also want you to remember that uh, everything that you do on social media is out there on the web and can be searched. So just remember that, it's kind of stuff. 
For more helpful tips and tricks, you can check us out on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. You can also check my page out on LinkedIn if you'd like. And uh, if you want a more personal or individualized session, you can always reach out to us at careerservices at midway.edu. Uh, otherwise, good luck out there and good luck on those interviews. Talk to you soon. Bye.